はいいかがですか美味しいですよ Stop filming this I don't want the people to know how greedy I really am Enough of this Good morning guys and welcome to the beautiful historic city of Kanazawa. We are joined today by the beautiful historic face of Sharla. Good to see you. Hi, hi guys. So we've got six or seven hours in this incredible city uh, and we wanted to go around, check out the streets today and then the heavens opened. And so instead we've come to Omicho Market. It's a huge sprawling market. It's completely roofed over as well so we can spend like all day in here. I'm starving. We're starving. We haven't eaten yet so I think we're gonna try and find a, a nice hearty breakfast of five or six courses we do I think. Hearty <laughs> breakfast of five yeah. or six courses. <laughs> See if we can do it. A full course meal in a market. Let's do it. Let's go. fish eye here doesn't doesn't look particularly appealing Breakfast, sort of. at what point would somebody think that's an acceptable dish or thing to eat my grandfather loves them he puts them in soup it's like his favorite part of the soup so why old people love this kind of stuff i don't know oh don't so know. old people like to eat eyes though they do my grandpa would be in heaven what's if the, he saw that tuna eye for three dollars what's the nutritional value of a of an fish eye. eye he told me it was the best part it's too early in the morning to, to see that kind of thing <laughs> butchered fish eyes. Other than the uh, terrifying fish eye, the fish here is packed meticulously. Usually when you go to a, a fish market in Japan, there's a sense of chaos. There's fish sprawling everywhere, there's water there's everywhere all over the floor. Bunch. Here, everything's been beautifully curated. Yeah. It feels, I don't know, it feels like quite an upmarket fish market. Yeah, it really does. Upmarket fish market. Up market. <laughs> that wasn't intentional. So we're at this giant fish market, and the first thing we got today is fruit. Yeah. Uh, this is, these are the most expensive grapes I've ever had. <laughs> They better be good. 500 yen for five grapes, five 100 grapes. yen per grape. Look at it. These are going to be really good though. It's, it They're feels giant. It feels like it's artificial almost. The way it's, like the skin is so thick and rubbery. Oh. Mm. Is it worth a dollar? Yeah? Mm. Wow, it's like a hand grenade of juice and flavor. <laughs> Ridiculously bloody expensive, but given the size, I mean, that's twice the size of a normal grape right. anyway. And thrice as delicious. <laughs> it doesn't taste like a grape. You know what it tastes like? It's like cotton candy. There's grapes that are like marketed to taste like cotton candy. Really? I bet it's this. In what universe? In America. Oh. <laughs> Soy milk ice cream. Wow. Soy and it's made from soy and rice. Look at it. it comes in both cones or cups what as well. The hell? Oh my god. Crazy. Only in Japan. So, oh, the show. The pudding. No, I still still. What flavor do you want? Breakfast sake. Breakfast sake. It smells great. Let's let the camera smell. <laughs> So despite being in a fish market, we've eaten everything but fish so far today. Can't First complain. fruit, now sake and ice cream. Yeah. This is a Junmai organic sake from Kanazawa City. And it's actually, it's just randomly on the top of the, uh, the ice cream stall. It's, it's delicious. Just, this has been a pretty good breakfast so far today. <laughs> Can't complain. Ah, a taste of luxury at 11 a.m. If you could uh, summarize this delicious ice cream in one word, what would that word be? Um, Jesus. Jesus, it is. <laughs> that smells amazing. And yet you don't want to eat one. <laughs> You're full. I'm full of ice cream and that. alcohol. So this is unagi, eel, on a skewer. It's been sauce coming off of it. Mmm, sticky sauce. It's not barbecue sauce, it's kind of a sweet soy sauce. And it's going everywhere, but I better eat it. For the longest time, I never liked eel, because in the UK we have jelly deals, and jelly deals basically look and taste like awful. Whereas in Japan, eel is beautiful. It's one of the most delicious fish you can actually have. And this is on a skewer, so it must be good. So good. Nine out of 10, would buy again. I probably will buy again, in about one minute.
Next course, beef sushi. This is a noto beef, which is a. It's not a beef. Noto is. A, I realise the conundrum this, this, this presents. Noto. It's the local beef. The good thing about this is uh, Wagyu Japanese beef costs a lot of money, right? You've got to basically destroy your bank account to try Japanese beef. But when you have it on sushi, it's small enough that uh, I've, just, I've just destroyed it. It's small enough that it doesn't cost a fortune. This is uh, 700 yen for two pieces of beef, or you can get a skewer of noto beef, not beef, for just under a thousand yen. What a ridiculous name, noto beef. Mm. Bloody hell, that's good. There's some wasabi tucked under the beef. Wasabi goes so well with uh, Japanese wagyu. Oh good. Oh, oh. You come to the market. Try the uh, noto beef because it is beef and it's rather good beef indeed. Right. Let's see how good Charlotte is at pouring beer. I've actually never poured a beer in my life. You've never poured a beer? No, I was. How old are you? Too old. You've never poured a beer? I've never poured a beer. Why not? Because I drink it out of the bottle. Gangster. Oh. Wow. Look at that. Look at head. that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking pro. You've got a whole new career yeah, in yeah. pouring yeah. beverages. And is our beer. That's quite nice. It's very fruity, very malty. Yeah, very fruity. Fruity taste to it. So we're at this little grilled fish shop and I got some saba, which is mackerel, mackerel. And look at the thickness of that sauce. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's the money shot. Sweet, sticky soy sauce. I like mackerel, it's very meaty. Food here is so good. Like this might be the best market I've been to in all of Japan. So good. Yeah, honestly, I've been to lots. I've been to that huge one in Hokkaido that everybody raves about, but the quality of the food here is phenomenal. It's so much better. I'm just impressed by how well presented all the food is here in the market. Come here, eat the ice cream, drink the sake, absorb the fish. Don't, no, don't absorb the fish. Just enjoy the fish. And um, I've drunk too much sake quite clearly. <laughs> So we've had five slash six courses of food here and we've wrapped it up, we're wrapping it up with this uh, mochi, mochi cake. Uh, oh, huggy. Oh, huggy. Oh, huggy, yeah. Give me a oh huggy. A hug, oh, hug. no, <laughs> no, no. So this is rice, it's been beaten and pounded down into a kind of cake. And so inside good. of this one, I've got red bean paste. So I'm not away sure we what's go. in this one actually. I got the matcha one. Mm. I've had a lot of fun in this market today. This might be one of the best markets I've been to in all Japan. Genuinely, easily, like easily. We spent two hours at least being lost in here, walking around, trying the food. I could stay here all day, just eating random things. All the shopkeepers are so friendly and nice, yeah. apart from the one woman that got angry for us filming some wasabi. <laughs> kind of smacked and, and me a bit. Basically pushed Shara out of the way. Horseradish that radish. they serve, yeah. Oh, I see if I could describe this market in one phrase, that phrase would be a labyrinth of excellence. <laughs> a quite, labyrinth of excellence. Quite accurate. <laughs> Really good description. It's the best description there's ever been of a market. That if you're ever in Kanazawa, this market should be pretty high on your list. It's a shame we didn't get to see more. The weather has been absolutely horrendous. It's like the, the last flood of mankind outside. Not only is it one of the best markets I've been to in Japan, but it is the best. It's the, all right, it's, it's the best market I've been to in Japan. It's a really fun place to just chill out, try lots of different dishes for a reasonable price as well. I mean, we had wagyu beef for 700 yen. We've had sake, which costs two dollars less than that. Yeah. Like it's been. A, for not a whole lot of money, we've had a pretty good five to six course meal yeah, today. So, yeah. best market in Japan, maybe, don't know. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. But for now, guys, no matter where you might be, out there in the big wide world, thanks for joining us on our journey across Japan, day in Kanazawa, and we hope to see you again tomorrow to do it all over again. Take care, guys. See you then. Have a good one. Oh, hey. Don't judge me. It's not to be fit. Stop filming this. I don't want the people to know how greedy I really am. Enough of this. Sam asks, do you guys think in Japanese, and if so, approximately how long after you started living in Japan did that occur? I think maybe a year after I arrived in Japan and I'd been learning Japanese, I started just having dreams, you know, mm. where Japanese featured mm. weren't the most exciting conversations. <laughs> yeah, it right. was like me going to McDonald's in my dreams and making an order. <laughs> Like, Big Mac is <laughs>
Big Mac said to Kudasa. Feels like some crazy shit's about to go down. Oh my god, there's a fighter jet. 